Anyway, let's get a review on Before Three. Well, let's start um, where we, as we may continue. Film Socialism by Jean-Luc Godard, which... Uh, film Socialism? Is, yeah, Film so socialism. Socialist film. Well, is it? Does Is that what it means? Quoi? Oh, Quel? Yeah. What does hey, it mean? Quel surprise. Oh, what does it mean? Don't ask me. I've only seen it. Well, just give um, us a translation. Well, film socialist, yes, it, it's, it's to do socialist with... Socialist film. Yes, well, the, n yes, but socialist with a small less, or is it? Who I knows? You've seen it, let, you okay, tell me. Then let me tell okay, so, ask questions. So, this played at Cannes last year, right, and it was by far and away the worst film at Cannes. Total thing. Because Jean-Luc Godard now is 80, OK? And he hasn't made a decent movie in a very long time. And I sat in this screening room, the film session, which is described as a symphony in three acts. One of them is sort of on, a, on an ocean liner, a bit of it is in a garage, another bit of it is elsewhere. To say that it is unwatchable drossy dirge with a tiny little cameo performance by people like... Um, uh, Patty Smith, you know, it's. I mean, it is. It is. I'd, I'd say it was an art installation, except that would be being rude to people that make art installations. It is not a film in any understandable phrase of the uh, meaning of the word. Also, more importantly, the Engl the dialogue obviously is not in English. Um, he's he, he's French or Swiss, depending on who he's talking to at the time. But the 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 subtitles are nomic Navajo English subtitles, meaning one word in about ten are subtitled. So every now and then you just get three words on the screen. So it's saying you don't understand this, and I'm not going to let you understand it. Here are my nomic subtitles. Figure it out for yourself, you English pig dog. I was really reminded of that, you know, Monty Python and the... I uh, worked yes, that one out. Exactly, yes. Oh, I shall taunt you a second time. Your mother was a hamster and your father liked Jean-Luc Godard movies. Anyway, I sat in this thing in camp with this dreary video art, snot-nosed intellectual nonsense. I mean, it is not just... A, um, a case of the emperor has no clothes. This is a case of the emperor is running down the street, waving his nouvelle vagues in your face with a camera, you know, secreted somewhere where the sun is going, Ooh! and still critics are going, oh yes, Jean-Luc, oh very interesting, look, now he has spent a whole half an hour on an ocean line and no one has done anything, I cannot understand a single word that is going on. There is Patty Smith over there, this must be very clever because I don't understand any of it. Yes, bravo, and the English critics are getting really cross about it. And it is, utter, I mean, utter, 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 utter boulder dash from beginning to end. And the funniest thing about it is, is seeing some of the critical responses. People saying, yes, it's incredibly boring and incomprehensible, but so boring and incomprehensible that in fact, it must be really quite profound. Godard at the age of, all you need to know about Jean-Luc Godard is this, right? Jean-Luc Godard once made a joke about, in order to lose faith in British cinema, you'd have to believe in it in the first place. Oh, that hilarious Franco-Swiss humour. Also, Godard, you know what? The Jim McBride remake of Breathless with Richard Gere in the funny trousers is a better film than A Buddha Souffle. A Buddha Souffle, which of course literally translated means we're all out of souffle. That is a better joke than anything that is in film socialism. Film socialism is one of those films when somebody has simply decided to go, I make castanets and all that stuff. And th this entire wave of people going, but it's John Luke. It's John Luke. And incidentally, I received much hate mail having said this in Cannes back then. I'm sure it'll happen again. It is raspberries of the highest order. Nouvelle Vague. Nouvelle Vague. It's your new vagueness, dear. New wave. Nouvelle Vague. Yeah, but you said he was running down the street waving his Nouvelle Vagues all over the yes, place. Yes, it was so that I wasn't, you know, I was in. It's the great use of innuendo. It's a British thing, Simon. Oh. Send me a note, darling. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. That's